Hey, sweetie. Welcome back. I missed you. And so did this beautiful little girl. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. I just finished changing her after I fed her some lunch. Well, attempted to feed her at least. The war zone that is our kitchen may beg to differ. I swear she can't even walk yet, but she's got quite the arm on her. Wow, that was a yawn. Well, I guess you were up late with your assignments, and on top of that, you had some really early classes today, didn't you? You know what? I think both of my girls could really use a nap right about now. Well, it'll be fine. You need your rest, and our little princess here still hasn't got on her nap yet today. But really, it's fine. I'll go put her down for her nap while you go get some sleep. While I get dinner started. I'll wake you when I'm done, so we can... Huh? Who could that be? Hold on, baby, just give me a minute. I'll see who it is, and then we can put her down for a nap. Oh, uh, mum. <laughs> wow, what, um, what a surprise. What brings you here all of a sudden? No, I, I guess you don't need a reason, but mum, you see, now isn't exactly the best time. I mean, we are about to put our baby down for a nap and start preparing dinner. Oh, oh you, you want to eat with us? Uh, you know, we'd love to have you, Mum, but now is not really the best. Hey, Mum, wait, you, you can't just barge in like this. No, I'm saying you need to go. I just... Never mind, I know by now you won't listen anyway. Nothing, nothing, just said I'm gonna go put my baby down for her nap now. Wait, what? And my wife can start making dinner. Uh, Mum, the thing is, I was actually planning to make us dinner tonight. Well, Mum... She's been busy with her classes lately, so she's pretty tired already. No, Mum. I'm serious. She really needs some rest. Wait, what? Since when is it her job to always cook? So what if she's the wife? Should the husband just not help out? It's just tradition. Seriously. That's your justification here. Hold on, what? Honey, no, you don't have to do it. No, really, I was the one who said they make dinner, remember? But I should really go put her down for her nap. I'm sorry about all this, sweetie. Finally, she's asleep. Jeez, for such a small baby, she sure has a lot of energy. Oh, I'd never get her to fall asleep. What awful timing. Why? Why did my mum have to come and visit now of all times? My sweetie knows she needs a rest, but we both know how my mum gets if we try to go against her. And God bless my wife for always keeping the peace. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if letting her visit whenever she wants is such a good idea. I know we want our kid to know her grandma, but still... What's that? Baby! What? Maybe. God, what, what happened? That is not nothing. Look at your hand, it's all red. Hell, it's, it's even hot to the touch. No, 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 no. The mess can wait. Now you tell me what happened. You burnt yourself, didn't you? That's how you ended up dropping the pot, right? It's also how all the water and pasta had ended up on the floor. Honey, this is exactly why I told you to let me handle this. 
You're too exhausted to be doing something like this. I'll forget my mom. She's not important right now. For now, we need to... Hi, mom. No, no, everything's fine. She just accidentally burnt herself making dinner. Well, mom, are you kidding me? She just burnt herself. How can you ask how long dinner will take? Mom! Mom, leave her alone. I told you. She shouldn't have been cooking dinner in the first place. She was exhausted enough as it was. Excuse me. Lazy. Lazy? You think she's exhausted just because she's lazy? Are you fucking kidding me? She has done more for me and my family than you can possibly imagine. A hell of a lot more than you've ever done. You heard me. No, I am talking. For once, you will listen. My wife has been kind enough to listen to every god-awful demand you've made of her, but no more. She's not just some mom or a simple housewife. She's hard, but she can have an education, eventually even have a career, one that will support all of us. She wants to do her part and follow what she loves. And I'm lucky enough that she even made room in her life for someone like me. And I'm even luckier that she made me the father of a beautiful baby girl, something I never thought would happen. And so what if we don't care about being traditional? And excuse us if we don't want to do things because you think it should be done. We're happy when we're doing just fine doing things our way. And until you can acknowledge that and the efforts of my wife, then you can just fuck off. Yes, I'm asking you to leave. Baby's asleep anyway. Gladly let her see you later, but until then, please go. Damn, that felt nice. Thank you. Are you still okay, sweetheart? I don't know. Yeah, I can understand that. And of course, Mum somehow managed to wake her up as she left. Old woman screwed with us once again. Huh. I know. We'll get to her in a minute, honey, I promise. For now, we need to take care of you first. Can't let that burn get any worse now, can we? Once that's done, we got our very vocal little girl to go back to sleep. But your turn to take a nap. <laughs> no arguing. This is what should have happened in the first place. From now on, you and her come first. Do you hear me? And no one, not even my mom, will say otherwise. Not as long as I'm still around. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> 